guys, I spent a long time on Shein, like multiple days, multiple sessions, hours and hours. Hey guys, it's Gwyneth and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a very exciting video. Today we're gonna be recreating Emily in Paris outfits using Shein. I feel like a lot of people have been watching Emily in Paris. It was trending on Netflix season two for the longest time and I just recently watched it and girl has hit or miss fashion pieces. I feel like everyone can agree that there is heavy fashion throughout this series of Emily in Paris. Whether you are in love with her outfits or think they're a little too funky, you they catch your eye. They definitely do. Personally for me, she has some outfits that I absolutely love. And then other outfits, I like pieces of them, but I maybe wouldn't wear it together. But she still will have like a purse I'm obsessed with or a jacket or a skirt. So, through further research of her outfits, I realized... They are all very, very, very expensive. They are all designer brands. It would take you thousands of dollars just to replicate her outfits. So I thought, let's do a cheap inspired version of this. Now it's not gonna be perfect, but it's definitely gonna be trying to get the same pieces and outfit together. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so for starters, I think the first outfit that I decided to recreate was this yellow dress here. She wears this in the first episode, and I will say I'm not a huge fan of yellow on me, but this was so, so gorgeous that I had to give this outfit a shot, try to recreate it. I really like how she looks in this. Guys, I spent a long time on Shein, like multiple days, multiple sessions, hours and hours like really digging for outfits i worked on it for like two weeks of just picking and finding the pieces and then pieces i found were going sold out so i finally was just like okay today i need to place it waited for the pieces to come in and now we're here so a lot of effort has gone into this video so please hit that like button and subscribe down below if you like this content because it really helps my channel and helps me know what kind of stuff you guys like to see the first thing i got i've had it on a hanger just in hopes to kind of help with the wrinkles but it is a very long dress so it's a super long sundress and i did get the shoulders that hers had which i really liked and then it cinches here which i thought would be a good guideline of where to put the belt that she wears i'd say the biggest difference i noticed is this dress does go all the way to the floor which i prefer but hers actually sits around her ankles so you can see the heels a bit more speaking of heels i will show those next so i got these and i believe she was wearing black ones i got in a size seven I feel like these are pretty spot on to what she was wearing, just a chunky heel and I noticed it wrapped around the ankle and around the toes. So that's what I was trying to do, but like I said, hers you can see the heels really well because her dress stops at her ankles, whereas you can kind of see these a little, but not as much, but I wanted to make sure I was trying to match it. And then like I said, I just found like a waist belt that would have holes small enough to cinch around my waist. I remember when these were really popular in like 2010. I feel like a lot of people wore shirts and put a belt on. Do y'all remember that phase? And then this is a cute purse. I think I need to like fill it out though for it to look cute. I feel like if I stuff this with something, like it's actually a good purse. It's a big size. There's one, it's like one giant compartment and then there is a little pocket that's pretty deep on the side and it's just a magnetic. This would actually be a good like beach bag, I think, but it is really, really big. I'll go ahead and try this outfit on and show you a side-by-side -side comparison of this with hers and then give you my thoughts on the outfit. Here is the outfit. Oh, I wanted to show a trick that I do because you can see the belt is hanging out. You know, it's not the cutest look. Get a little closer for you guys. So what I do is take the belt off Oh gosh, I made that probably tighter than necessary. And then I take like a plastic elastic hair tie, plastic elastic, and just put that around. And then I just kind of use that as a makeshift like belt thing to help. And then you just have that elastic, you just move it around wherever you need it. And that's how I deal with those, so it'll just stay down 
and look a little better. Can't forget the purse. Like I said, I think this would look a lot better if things were like stuffed in it. And then you can see the heels, which, you know, you can see the heels, like the toes of my heels, but hers, I think her dress set more like, like I think it ended like right there. So you could like see the full heels. Yeah, so I think the biggest compromise that you're gonna see or biggest difference is either things that she had patterns on or just solid colors. Or if you can find pattern items to get the same vibe, it's gonna be different patterns. We were telling I'm walking, like she is in that pic. But yeah, I really like this, it's pretty comfortable. Um, the shoes are actually really comfortable. I was expecting them to be, maybe need to be broken a little cause they're the, kind of that stiff plastic feel, but they actually feel pretty comfy. I would maybe throw on some fuzzy socks around the house and just walk in them a little bit to break it in. But I think if you were just going out for a couple hours, not sanding too much, even the first time wearing these, I think could be pretty good. So yeah, I like the first outfit. All right, so the next outfit I'm going to do is actually the first, not the first outfit, like I always saw her outfits and appreciated them, but this was the first outfit I saw her wear that I was like, OMG, I need that outfit in my life. Like it was beautiful. And that was this outfit, the one that she was wearing out at the vineyard. And she just came out with her big sunglasses on and by far one of my favorite outfits. Starting with just jeans. So I actually already had some Shein jeans that are high-waisted and I believe that's what she was just wearing was skinny jeans that were high-waisted. So here's a pair that I got, although these look <laughs> really tiny and I'm not sure how long ago I wore these. So these may be a little bit of a stretch for me. I also think I have another high-waisted pair of jeans from Shein that are a lighter wash jean, like wash denim. So I can, if I find those, I'll also link those down below and just to give you guys like some jean options. But I do really like these, like they're good quality jeans. I would say um, these may end up being too small for me because I bought these a while back and I haven't worn them in a while because, you know, more flare jeans are in right now. But I do really enjoy these, so if you are looking for a good pair of skinny jeans, skinny high-waisted jeans, these are good. And then I found this blouse, which I was really excited about, and they do have a ton of these, interestingly. Kind of reminds me of like a pirate blouse. Um, yeah, they had a bunch to choose from. I just went for one that was a little bit more affordable, but had the same look that I was going for. Um, you could get more like silky ones if you wanted to and those are a little bit more expensive. Uh, but yeah, they have a lot of options to choose from if this one isn't exactly the way you'd like it, but I'm excited about it. It's also, I don't know what the material is. It's like a linen, like really breathable material, which I thought that would be good since I live in Texas, so there's only a few ways you can get away with layering. So the jacket is kind of thick, so I was glad that this is more breathable. Okay, and then here is the jacket. I am so excited I found this. I did search and search and search for hours for this jacket and I found a jacket that was perfect and it was sold out. They only had I think like an extra large. So there is, if you even want to get more exact, I think the difference was hers is short length, like it's not a full sleeve, but I figured I could just roll it up if necessary. Um, and I think the other one I was looking at did have the short sleeve, but like I said it was sold out so I think this one's a really good dupe though. So I'll try this on. It'll be with those high-waisted jeans. I was having a hard time finding what shoes she was wearing because they actually didn't have her in the outfit very long in the episode and they have her sitting for most of the scenes. So I'm just gonna wear these same black heels that are from the first outfit because I feel like they go with it and I'm pretty sure she was just wearing like some strappy black heels with it. This piece, I had a hard time figuring out. So I bought this tiny white purse and it has a little handle and then it has like turns like that and then it also has a chain to like make it, oh cool, you can extend the handle. Okay, that's good. Let's just, uh. But yeah, there's also a chain in there to make it a crossbody. Oh, maybe this was cuter with a shorter handle. But anyways, I bought this and when it got here, I was laying out the outfits and like making sure I had all the pieces and putting it together. And I can't remember why I bought this. Like, I don't know if this was a different outfit I was working on and I just forgot to take this out of the cart or if it goes with the outfits. 
So I guess I'll put it with this one, but I'm not entirely sure if she even had a purse when they showed this. And I looked at photos and I couldn't find it. So yeah, and then there's another outfit I'll show you in a minute that I also didn't buy a purse for. So I thought maybe this is for that outfit, but again, I can't find her with a purse in any photos with that outfit either. So either way though, it's pretty cute. Honestly, I got some other purses like that yellow purse and a different purse I'll show you. I feel like those qualities were better, but I'm pretty sure this was only like $4. So if you want a good like cheap purse, that's white that you don't care really if it gets dirty um this could be a good one but i honestly this is probably of all the things the one that the quality i'm just not crazy about so i just wanted to be honest about that of course like shopping with Shein, some things are such good quality for the price and then other things are kind of like what do you expect you paid four dollars for a purse this one is kind of not my favorite but if you like the look of it and you just kind of want a cheap purse that you don't have to worry about getting dirty and it'll like photograph well and look good with outfits and you don't care that when you're like feeling it that it's actually this buckle thing feels really good quality and like this stuff it's just the actual flimsy material of the purse isn't my favorite but anyways so just depending on what you're looking for in a purse this could be a good option but for those who like really want it to feel luxe this may not be the purse for you and then the last item so I have bought sunglasses from Shein before I know that because I have a big they're like black frames, they're big squares. I call them my Kris Jenner glasses and I love them. And I got them from Shein for like less than $5 and it came with a nice suede case and I love them. And they live in my big purse. So I know I bought sunglasses there, but when I was searching just sunglasses in general, they only had sunglass cases and sunglasses for pets, like glasses for cats and dogs. <laughs> So, unfortunately, that is the only thing I bought that was not Shein, and I got these at Marshalls for $15 because she is wearing very, very big glasses. That is what we're working with. I'm also obsessed with these. Like, I've been wearing these a lot because they just give me such early 2000s vibe, and I don't care if people don't like me in these or think I look silly. These are my summer 2022 shades. Everyone's gonna be like, remember that year where Gwyneth was wearing those huge sunglasses? Like, everywhere we went. I went to lunch yesterday with my mom and my sister. I was rocking these all day. I even just walking around with them on my head too when we were indoors when we went to lunch and I'm just having a sassy moment and I'm here for it. Okay, so I think that is all the pieces for this outfit. We got the jeans, the heels, the fluffy shirt, the jacket, the glasses, and possibly a purse. So let's go ahead and try it on. Okay. Rude. Started rolling the sleeves, but I think I just like them down better. The biggest difference I noticed is her sleeves stop here, whereas this one goes all the way to the wrist. And then it's just normal clipped for the blouse. It's just normal around the wrist and just buttons, whereas she had like an extra frill to the end of her. But overall, I like this outfit. This may be one of my favorites. I always love good skinny jean and heels. It's my go-to when I want to get, when I want to be extra. So yeah, I really like this blazer a lot and it has a button if I wanted to be a little more. But yeah, this may be one of my favorite outfits. I really like it. My favorite outfit that I saw her wear throughout the series. Alright guys, outfit number three. This one, I am both very impressed with how close I got, but also feel like it's the least close I've gotten with the outfit, so I just wanna be upfront with that. And the reason is because I found a top that kind of worked and then it sold out. So there is potential to find and make your outfit a little bit more accurate than I did through Shein. Um, I just wasn't able to. And this is actually the piece I told you I had a lot of things in my cart for a long time as I was trying to find more and that one sold out and that was what made me just be like, okay, I gotta find a different top and check out today. But anyway, so this outfit is her iconic green outfit. And ironically I say iconic, but she kind of wears multiple green outfits and I realized that later when I was trying to get the photos to show you guys here and I realized she has multiple green outfits. So the one I'm referring to, she also, I actually didn't... <laughs> 
This was one very specifically that I thought I love the pieces of this, but I do not like the way she put it together. It's a green mini skirt. Oh, that's the back. So this beautiful green mini skirt has a little slit here. This is supposed to go up high waisted and I will say it does make it pretty short. I mean my butt's not hanging out or anything, but it is short, but it's also like it's a mini skirt, so just kind of is what it is. And her skirt is pretty short on her as well that she wears in the show. So I would still say it's accurate. To go with the skirt is this green belt. And one thing with this outfit is, and I think the biggest difference I have, and it's just also coming down to style preference, is I don't like wearing patterns. If I wear any patterns, it's usually plaid. And even then, it's a stretch. I just like solid color clothing and that's always how I've been and she wears a lot of patterns and she mixes patterns which it distracts me in some of the scenes like this one she wears a green skirt that is the difference is this I got a plain green skirt she does a green skirt with it's almost kind of checkered a little bit like faded checkers and it incorporates a light green and dark green, which is kind of how she can pull off wearing, like she wears several different shades of green. And the way she does it is by having patterns that have different shades of green, which doing monochromatic, is that the term where people have like, they wear all blue, but it's different shades of blue and all pink and different shades of pink. Anyways, I know it's trendy. And this is the item of all of this video that's probably the most not my best work and it is because she wears and I am not a fan of this and this is almost kept me from doing this outfit is a pink and green striped shirt so I was able to find and like I said I do solid colors usually instead of patterns I still did look for a green and pink striped shirt and I couldn't find one not one that had like a collar like she had so I found this really cute pink shirt that had a collar and I thought, you know what, you, it's solid but you get the same idea of the pink with the green and the green jacket and green belt and green, green shoes, green purse. So because of that, this was the item that went sold out was the pink. So I just ended up getting the same shirt but white. And this is I, don't come for me guys, but if it's back in stock, I'll link it below if you just want to get this shirt in pink to like match her outfit better um, so basically everything's gonna look pretty similar except I have a white top instead of the pink pop that she puts into the outfit we saw the skirt the shirt the belt then over top is this green jacket which was surprisingly pretty affordable if I remember correctly I'll put it up on the screen then my two favorite pieces and that is this gorgeous purse this is such amazing quality like this honestly feels like a designer bag and you may be thinking girl you shop at Shein what do you know about designer bags I know about designer bags okay don't try to come for me this feels amazing I am so incredibly impressed with the quality of this purse not only does it look gorgeous it feels like leather which it's fake leather feels like genuine leather it has this the strap has such a nice give it's not like uncomfortable and rigid in your hand the gold detailing on this is just exquisite it has and then it has this beautiful detailing but it's actually a, a clip which is nice because my louis it is um like you actually have to buckle it and so these get really beat up and it takes a while when i'm at a store trying to quickly buckle this so it does have the nice clasp it comes with a strap to turn it into a crossbody then it has an extra just quick pocket right here for convenience then it has two other pockets that are separated by a zipped spot like i this may be one of the things i am the most excited about from this whole haul I am obsessed with green. Green is always my favorite color. I'm going through a phase where I wear it a lot. So this outfit really spoke to me. Despite the pink and green and pattern moment she had going on, I just decided to stick with it because this is just gorgeous. Okay, and then the next thing I got for this outfit is the green heels. So these are stunning. Also, if these aren't exactly the style you want, they had 
like 20 green strappy heels to choose from. It was amazing. So these actually wrap around the front, I believe, to kind of make like a little X on the front, which that's what I noticed in hers. Like she even had ones that like did a little wrap around on her ankle. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about these. And I'm pretty, like all around, I'm pretty impressed with this outfit because we got the green shoes, the green purse, the green belt, the green skirt, the green jacket. So the only thing that is lacking is that it's a white top underneath instead of the pink and green striped moment she had going on. But I'm pretty impressed. For that many pieces to make an outfit, it's pretty good. So enough rambling. I talked about this a lot. Let's go ahead and check out, try on these pieces. So the biggest thing with this outfit is the waist is a little big on me for the skirt and the button also, not the button, but this is the smallest um, sizing that the belt goes. So it actually sits down here. We have a little 2000s tummy moment, but ideally it would, I'm pretty sure her shirt like is tucked in. We got the green jacket. Oh, you can't forget the beloved green bag. Also, I want to apologize because in this outfit and the last outfit, I'm wearing a black bra, which obviously isn't ideal. I have a nude bra that I probably would wear with these. It's just, um, it's air drying right now. And a few things are grosser than putting on a damp bra. So this is what we're working with, but that's not how I would actually wear this if I were out about. Here's this. And then I don't know if you guys can see my shoes, but I feel like I did a pretty good job matching these to what she had going on. It's just fun. What a like, green moment. Like I could totally, if this fit better, see myself wearing this in like a date night out with Taylor. Like maybe to go get some ramen. Time for the final outfit. This was an outfit that I thought, man, I wish I dressed like that. Like I don't dress like that. I mean, I live in Dallas. It's not like I live in New York or Paris, but it's enough of a city that could, you know, justify being glam. And I just don't do it. And this was an outfit that I was like, I need to have this energy. I need to just have like a boss girl, bougie energy. And this is it. Here's the outfit. This is her season or season two, episode one. I call this the train station outfit. It is stunning. I love it so much. So let's go ahead and break down the pieces. Okay, so the first most obvious one, I just have it on a hanger and that is the striped outfit. One thing that she had that I loved and I tried to do some digging, but I wasn't able to find it was a double she had like a double strap also hers was a little bit more of like a mint green whereas this is like a pale blue i remember when these were so popular and you would have to go pay like 70 dollars to get one from hollister i'm pretty sure i had one exactly like this from hollister so this one does cinch at the waist but to add a little bit more cinching it does have a ribbon to tie around my only complaint is there are no belt loops to it but then at the same time i know it can be annoying when you don't want to wear a belt for a dress and you just have belt loops hanging so i guess it's smart to not add it <laughs> then i got this gorgeous scarf it is huge it's a lot of material i also don't know how girls do the full wrap thing so i'll give it my best attempts um you guys may get a laugh out of me trying to wrap this around all elegantly like she had. She had this wrapped around like sitting on her head but then also like crossed at the neck. And then to be just so bougie, she also had huge sunglasses on. Now I'm just using the same sunglasses, but guys, I did try to find those big shaped ones because they're just so unique. I couldn't find them. So I thought this has the same vibe. Again, $15, got these from Marshalls. Then of course we can't forget the coat. And I will say here, I tried so hard to get that whole geo print esque jacket and I couldn't find it anywhere or I'd find stuff but like it wasn't the right colors it was kind of crazy it was more like Aztec print trench coats than what she had going on so the closest I could get which was actually pretty affordable was this trench coat and it's a really pretty color. It's like a nice taupe soft tan. So it's kind of just the color that's under the brown 
and cream squares that she has going on. So I thought we could still get the same vibe, but unfortunately, no prints on this one. But of course, for my style, it kind of works better anyways, because she is wearing stripes and then geo print and then shaped, you know, geo shaped glasses. So it was a lot going on. Um, so this also like adds to it and you get the same vibe, but the striped dress and the scarf on your head and the big water bug glasses, those can kind of steal the show and this can just be soft supporting detail. <laughs> oh, and we cannot forget about the shoes. I just went into baby blue shoes, which is why I typed into Shein and I found this piece. Now hers seem to have kind of like a knot tied, like you know how some heels look like there's just like a quick knot in the middle and then it keeps going. I wasn't able to find those kind, but I feel like this is really similar to the style she had going on. Like, okay, and then the last thing that I put with this outfit is that same, the same white purse, just cause I still can't figure out which outfit it was supposed to go with, if any of them at all. So I didn't see her with a purse in this scene, but she also had like a suitcase and was talking on the phone and like a lot was going on. So I thought this works with this as well. So I definitely didn't do this part justice. I think she also had a lot smaller scarf because this one like goes all the way back unless she like had it tucked into the jacket, you know, like in the back and just kind of like neatly tucked. But I just don't know how she did that. It's definitely a talent, but I love the sass I feel right now with this over my head and the shades on. And then we got the fun baby blue heels the jacket, I just kind of positioned the tie where the detail of those double cinched buckle things she had to kind of get the same effect. And then we got this big jacket trench coat. I do like it. It's like a kind of a soft, silky trench coat. It's really lightweight. It's very, very long as you can see. And I am going back and forth on whether I think it looks good or if it's swallowing me. I even did the trick where you tie it in the back just to you know, cinch the waist a little bit, give you more shape instead of having, you know, all of it sitting out here around you. And I'm just still a little on the fence about it. So let me know what you guys think of this jacket. Oh, and then this purse. I've actually, I talked about it so much with the other outfit and I didn't even bring it into the outfit, but got a purse and then she's talking on her phone. So I should turn that off. There, do I look like her? Waiting at the train, the train station in St. Tropez. Ah, how fun. I just love the diva moment I feel right now. Like I almost feel like a first lady in this. At the gardens. I am obsessed with these heels. They're so comfortable. I love the baby blue. Obsessed. All right, so that was the last outfit. And I will say in total for me to get all four outfits and this may seem i mean this does sound like a lot of money but for me to get all of these pieces like an insane amount i think in total it was like 19 or 20 pieces was 180 dollars which i think that's pretty impressive and of course if the more expensive pieces you're not interested in don't work for your budget you can always just pick pieces that you thought were cute and that you could see yourself wearing in your collection to be the same aesthetic of designer I think that is such a steal. I mean, one of the dresses she wore was like $3,000 if you wanted to get it. So just that, like some of the outfits, if you wanted to recreate her whole outfit would have been like $6,000. So I think in comparison, being able to replicate four outfits for under $200 is such a steal. Once you spend, I think over $100, you get free shipping from Shein too. I didn't have to pay for shipping. They're also great with their refunds. Like there's been a couple outfits uh, items I got that I ended up returning to Shein just because I didn't like how they looked on me and it asked hey what's the reason you're sending it back is it defective was the size wrong was the description deceptive and I just said I just clicked I didn't like it and they didn't ask questions they gave me a full refund and they paid for me to ship the items back to them so I really really liked that I think Emily in Paris definitely has made me want to up my fashion Maybe not to the same exact thing she's wearing, but it makes me want to step it up. Yeah. Let me know which outfit was your favorite or what piece was your favorite. Also let me know what you think about that show. They left it on quite a cliffhanger for the end of season two. And yeah, 
I'll be in the comments waiting to chat with you guys. Alright, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, hope you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! He's like, I was like, what the? And then he's like, 20 bucks, and he gave it to him, and then he just goes, and like literally sprints back off. <laughs>